be a video on how to successfully take out a moth that is trapped inside of a cocoon. I don't have one like you, Jen, that is doubled up, so I will have to use one of mine. And mine is actually still a pupa, but when I cut it and close it, it will still come out and emerge and still hatch. So I'm not harming it in any way. They'll still they'll still do their thing. But um, it's quite simple. All you need is a pair of scissors and make sure it's as clean as possible. If it has little hairs, just try to pull as much as you can away. It just makes it easier when you cut them. Um, what you're going to want to do is start from an end like this and gently grab a hold of it with the scissors. I mean, you're gonna just pinch it lightly. So when you do that, you just continue to go around the cocoon. I'll try to get closer. And what you're trying to do, sometimes it doesn't work out this way, is you're trying to make this little thin thing all the way around. Most of the time, I only make it halfway around, and that's okay because you'll still be able to save them and get them out, because if they're breeding in there, they're not going to come out, and she'll just lay her eggs in there, and you'll lose them all. So, I'm doing pretty well, and I'm getting all the way around, almost. So then, at that point, you would just open it and save them. This one is actually going to emerge soon. You can tell by the, the color of it, it's lightening up. So that's pretty pretty cool. This one will be actually turning into a moth really soon. So that's how you do surgery on them and rescue them. I've had two males that, would, that haven't come out that stayed in there too. I don't know if it matters. I think when they come out, and they see somebody else, they're like, oh, maybe I'm supposed to be there. I don't know, but they they won't come out if it's a male and female for sure, I know, because they'll just meet inside the cocoon. So, yeah, basically that's it. So I'll just put this one back. It'll be fine. It'll still, I'll wake up one morning and it'll be on top just, just waiting. <laughs> so I hope that helps. It's not hard. Just a pair of scissors. So that's it. <laughs>